Welcome to NBC News. NSA surveillance is not a new concern. The programs began in the early 2000s and were brought to the public's attention in 2005 to 2006. The extent of the NSA spying, however, was in the dark until Edward Snowden leaked information proving that the NSA had tapped millions of phones and cameras for surveillance and national security. Edward Snowden released this information to the public and then fled to Russia. The scandal finally broke in June 2013. Stay tuned for more. In recent news, Edward Snowden has released information about the NSA that could leave you wondering about your privacy. We're going to sit down with Edward Snowden in a few to tell you more. Thank you, Mr. Snowden, for stepping into the studio with me today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. So what made you become a whistleblower at the NSA? So once I gained a position of power in the NSA um, and realized how much surveillance and uh, the NSA was doing across the whole nation as a whole, not just certain individuals, I, I came to realize how powerful, and how powerful the situation was and I realized it wasn't up to the government uh, to decide if they should do this. It was up to the American people as a whole. What was your opinion on the government's power here at the NSA? Uh, my position was um, that it was too much power for the government to decide. There was too much surveillance going on. Um, it wasn't just, as most people think, it wasn't just individuals that we, we felt as threatening to the uh, American situation. We, uh, everyone in general was being tapped and watched on every single call. Every, everything online was being logged, so I thought it was too much power for them to decide. Okay, so we, the government clearly had power, but let's take a step back. How much power did you have at the NSA? When, as I got so far, so high up in the NSA, um, I was able to basically, if I had a personal email, tap anyone, um, up to even the President of the United States, I could tap him if I had a personal email, <laughs> I guess if I wanted to. Pretty interesting there, Mr. Snowden. It was a pleasure to have you in the studio, but that's all the time we had today. Thank you. All right, thanks for having me. Next up, we have an NSA agent, Lauren Latham, steps up to the stage and tells us more about this leak of NSA information that Edward Snowden just told us about. It's a pleasure to have Ms. Latham, an NSA agent working for the government. And what's your justification on the NSA's surveillance? It's crucial for the NSA to maintain its mass surveillance programs to ensure the safety of the American people. Very interesting, but can you just elaborate a little bit more for our viewers? So after the 9-11 attacks, um, everything, all security measures have been ramped up in airports, in, on planes, in most public places. We have extra security measures just to ma maintain the uh, safety of the American people. Let me just ask you a little fun question here. Could you listen to what music I'm listening to in my car? Do you know what I search on my phone daily? If I thought that you pose a threat to our government and to our democracy, yes, I could. Hmm. How do you feel about the NSA violating U.S. citizens' privacy? See, I think that in certain times of need and just to make sure that we're free and everyone is safe, uh, some of these rights have to be not changed, but a lot of people look at the Fourth Amendment and they say, oh, well, this is against the Fourth Amendment, you know. Um, but the thing is, is that these searches that we're um, undergoing, these are not unnecessary. These are, there's a real threat. Uh, President Obama actually said that since the NSA has um, been using the surveillance program, over 50 threats have been stopped. Huh. Well, thank you, Mrs. Latham, for stepping into the studio and telling us a little bit about your opinion on the NSA. We have student Luke Artisan, who's going sit, to sit down with us and tell us more about his take on the privacy issues of the NSA. Great to see you fan. too. Great to see you. Love your Republican Welcome to the content. show. Welcome to the show. <laughs> great. So you're just an average person that we grabbed off the street, right? Um, so how are you doing today? Let me ask you that first. I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm a huge fan of the show. I have been for a while now, and it's just great to be on here. So we've been talking about the NSA all day. What's your opinion on that stuff? Uh, I, I think it's just kind of a load of crap, you know. It, it is what it is, but I mean, I don't really think they were kind of just searching everything. I mean, they were trying to keep our country safe. Yeah, do you know Edward Snowden? I'm just going to stop you right there. Edward Snowden is a traitor to our country. He has no idea what he's talking about. He's trying to just start all this propaganda, these conspiracy theories. Completely false. 
Well, yeah, that's kind of the common opinion around the NSA, and we talked to Latham. She said the same thing, that he was a traitor. Uh, don't you think that's kind of uh, odd there, that he would be a traitor, or would that be some information that you want to know? I mean, it'd be some information I want to know. It's, it just seems like he hates the government. I mean, he just wants to do everything he can to just get rid of them, and that's, that seems stupid. You don't think that people should know what the government knows about you? I mean, maybe. I guess I never really thought about it that way. So, so when you go home, right, and, and you're on your phone texting your girlfriend, yeah, you think the NSA reads those messages? A pretty hot topic. No way. No, no, no way. No way. No, no way they way. read those. Okay. Okay. Do you think they read them? You know. You know, Luke. They might. What did Snowden say? You know, Snowden can wiretap any phone he wants, and Snowden had he all. Can what? He Snowden had all the power. That he had. It, it's crazy. I had him up here in that, in that same seat, Luke, and he told me some crazy stuff that he could wiretap the president. The, the president, president of the United of States. Of the United States? He could see anything that he was texting. Anything. Call. He could listen in. What? Yeah, isn't that crazy? What are we going to do? So now let me ask you again. What's your opinion on the NSA? They can't just look at what I'm doing on my phone. Like, what? Are they just watching me when, like, when I get out of the shower? Like, what? I have my laptop open sometimes. Well, I saw this movie, Snowden, and they said that if your laptop camera's open, they might be able to wiretap and view in. Well, but how, how did I not know about this? I thought this was all just fake. I saw the memes. I thought they were funny. Do you think this NSA is mass hysteria? Let me ask you that. I don't know. It seems, seems like I should be pretty concerned about it. I, I mean, agree. I agree. I think people should be concerned of the problem that the NSA has power to just about anything at your fingertips. It's at theirs. Thank you, Luke, for sitting in with the studio. It's been a pleasure having you here. got to get here. out of here. <laughs> and that's all we have from NBC News today in the morning. Thank you. After sitting down with Edward Snowden, Lauren Latham, NSA agent, and commoner off the street, Luke Artizone, at NBC News and host Timmy Dixon, I have decided that the citizens of the United States should be more than moderately concerned about the validity of the NSA surveillance claims. Thank you for your time, and thank you for tuning in. That's all we have today. The information found about the NSA conducted in the interview came from The Guardian, New York Times, ACLU.org, and others.